Hello everyone and welcome back to the Prime Coding channel. So today we'll start a new series of getting know about all trending technologies because nowadays you can see in interviews there are getting must asked about what do you mean by trending technologies, what are trending technologies. From today onwards I am starting with blockchain but in future DevOps, Big Data Analytics, AI ML, Data Science, everything would be covered on the, in this channel. So if you are new please uh, considering it a subscribe button and like this video if you found this very interesting. Great. So I'm Aditya Mishra and you're watching Prime Coding. Now we'll see the definition first. As I want to tell you, blockchain it's itself a vast industry and there are multiple types of information that you can gather from book or any of the tutorials. But here the necessary thing that you should know or at least you should be aware of, I will let you know everything and a few few key points that would be cherry on the cake. So we'll start with a definition first. Blockchain is a decentralized keyword to be noted when you are explaining your definition, you should use this keyword decentralized distributed ledger technology that powers cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, but it's application extends far beyond finance. Why I have explicitly written this line is when I am taking mock session, people used to say it is just for the finance industry, it's for crypt, uh, hashing, it's for uh, security. These are the aspects, but blockchain has vast application more than finance industries. It will see where the application can be fit. Let you know everything in this video. So decentralized means there is no any central control. Everyone can communicate with each one who is present in the network. Decentralized ledger, I want to tell you about ledger. Ledger is basically a database uh, like our daily life, like a MongoDB or a SQL database. But in blockchain industry, we basically talk about uh, ledger as a database and transaction denotes data, which means data is stored in database in layman language that we usually speak in this transaction is been stored in ledger. That's it. Now, but its application extends for beyond finance. We'll see in this video. The definition, I think it is clear. Try to use the keyword that I have underlined. Now, have a particular explanation flow. Firstly, tell about the topic that the question is asking you. Then give a specific example. Like in the previous, as you can see, I have given the example of Bitcoin. So there are multiple examples that you can frame. Now, we'll see about the concept of blockchain. Blockchain is a digital ledger where transactions are recorded chronologically and publicly that I have told you in the beginning a ledger denotes database and if it is a database which means it store data inside it and here data is equivalent to transaction great so transaction will be stored in the ledger in publicly manner so everyone who is present in the blockchain network can notice each and every transaction that is going on any of the profiles great now decentralization as a keyword is itself a big meaning in blockchain all about blockchain is decentralization as you might be heard about the centralized control where there is a master node connected with many slave node and only master node have access to respond and request over a particular uh, questions or problems but here we have peer to peer system where each and every node let's say this is node one node two is connected to each and every node present in the network and let's say if node one uh, requested something to for information for validation any node present in the network can respond over it so this the, this you mean by decentralization and for a key point i will let you know that there are some major nodes and minor nodes basically both do the validation but major uh, major nodes had basically more power than minor nodes which validate whether the digital signature also the blockchain bct technology blockchain technology also have a cryptographic aspects into it hashing aspects into it and digital signatures it basically comes into cryptography and digital signature whether the signature has been verified whether it is a genuine person everything would be validate identify by the major nodes Great. So the big nodes you can see here are the major nodes and the small nodes you can say it's a minor node and everyone is connected to each other. Every transparency, transparency has been maintained in the network. Now security. The main concern of blockchain is it provides security. Why? Because it uses advanced cryptographic techniques to hash the data. Because if you buy a Bitcoin right now, you will not get a Bitcoin handy or somewhere. You will get a hash code of 256 
bit because it's usually follow SH8256 algorithm to hash the particular input. Now, if you are telling this much of technical knowledge, then you should be aware of why do what do you mean by SH8256? Guys, it has multiple applications. Collision resi resistant avalanche effect. Collision resistant means there would be no one uh, hash value would be same to another hash value and uh, deterministic. It is very deterministic algorithm as well as avalanche effect. If any of the letter would be changed, the hash value would be different than the previously stored. So basically, you should be just aware of it use HSS256 because it has multiple types of combination can be formed. Not that it will have a small area, but it has a 256 bits of area. So the any hash would be definitely unique. No, what ha no, no hash would be equivalent to any other hash that is pre-computed earlier. Great security achieved through cryptographic technique like hashing and digital signature that I have just you told about everything that blockchain is generally used. Now, what does or how does blockchain work? So transaction life cycle, basically it depends upon the network that you are talking about. The Bitcoin has its own transaction network. The Ethereum has own his transaction and uh, transaction life cycle. But many of the people had an issue. What Ethereum is also a cryptocurrency? No, Ethereum is a virtual machine. EVM Ethereum has a what Ethereum virtual machine inside it. It's a full computer where you can write your code these are the very complex topics and very interesting to know i will have a recommend you to go through what you mean by ethereum or bitcoin for now just to know about transaction life cycle because i am very curious about blockchain because blockchain has core technology inside it and i think it would be boom in the future when a transaction occurs it's a broadcasted to the network so there is a particular network like uh having a transaction into it. If any transaction has been validated by the major nodes or minor nodes, then it would be uh, broadcasted in the uh, new uh, in the pre or uh, link list where the all transactions are being maintained. So let's say this is a new transaction. After getting validated, it will be broadcast in the network. Great. And this is an ongoing network. I hope this explanation is clear. Please try to make a diagram when you are learning it so that it would be fitted into your mind. Now, consensus mechanism. Nodes validate the transaction using algorithm like proof of work. So basically, proof of work is there in the Bitcoin or you can say in blockchain network or proof of stake. Basically, in Ethereum network, we have a proof of stake. So try to be very uh, specific. If you are telling this word, you should be able to speak one line at least. What do you mean by proof of work? When we actually do the signature, uh, whether the signature is uh, validated and there are multiple, like proof of work is basically solving a mathematical puzzle to broadcast a new uh, transaction into a existing network. That's why we do proof of work. In proof of stake, usually we have at least of 32 Ethereum to do the proof of stake to ensure that you will run your algorithm. Basically in Ethereum, each and every line that you have written, it will be executed and according to the execution, the cost will be there for every line. But in Bitcoin, it will be after executing all, you need to pay a whole sum. Great. Now, adding blocks. Validated transactions are bundled into blocks and added to the chain. Simple adding blocks. If there is a block of transaction that is currently going on, you will broadcast a node and it will be added into the network great each and every network has their own times of adding a new block you can't add any time great immutability and transparency once added data on the blockchain is temper resistant and visible to all participants once a block has been added in the existing network then no one can temper it no one can write anything and it is visible to all participants great now we'll talk about application of blockchain. Now the technical concepts has been that said, but if you are interested, I would highly recommend you to go through the blockchain concepts. You will love it. Now cryptocurrencies and beyond. Let's see Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. Ethereum has a computer embedded into it. How blockchain powers digital currencies and enables peer-to-peer -peer transaction. So Bitcoin and Ethereum are the classic example of peer-to-peer -peer transaction. 
smart contract is an another application where blockchain is very used i will add up a few lines self executing contracts that automate agreement enforcement basically in types of company which deals with financial basically in financial industry there let's say there are two parties a and b and they have maintained a set of agreement that will we will you uh, we will be provide you this service and it will cost this much so you can create a smart contract if that much services has been provided then this much amount will directly credit into it so smart contract will act as a mediator between both of them where this person gives the service and update into the smart contract and this person pays to the smart contract if the service has been received by the party b the payment will be given to the party a that's why we use smart contract openly in the financial industry decentralized finance applicants like lending borrowing and trading without intermediary that's why use decentralized finance basically blockchain bitcoin networks ethereum are uh, introduced to reduce the third party interventions of banking systems that's why having blockchain cryptocurrencies using a lending borrow it's removes the intermediary banks or transaction fees which usually take by the third party great now we'll see about supply chain management as you can see it's a core core of any business or any technical or any finance industry enhancing transparency and traceability from source of consumer now if you are telling this into the interview you should have a core example with you let's say in a supply chain let's say this is a company and company deals with a vehicle or something as vehicle parts let's say so it might it's have a supply chain like some country like india they want a machine or a 1800 cc or 18000 cc machine so there would be many intermediary between them like the machine will be transferred to the party 1 then uh, machine will be transferred to the party 2 then let's say this is in new york the party 3 will ship to the new york so there are many people are being here so if you apply supply if you apply blockchain into the supply chain industry everything would be specified and transparent like like let, let's say let's say you don't need a uh, um, party 2 into the picture but if you don't have transparency into the system the party 2 will be there and the cost will drastically increase and they will tell we'll take help of party 2 to do that but on the agreement that we have found that party 2 will not be in, in need so if the transparency is there you can trace your object where is your object is going on without any tempering you can't temper that particular if the smart contract or the blockchain has been situated now if your item is moving to party 1 it would be traceable then it would be go to party 3 it would be traceable then it will reach to the party c without any tempering because if the machine got tempered the efficiency of the machine would be drastically decreased and if the machine of efficiency would decrease the profit of the company would decrease so the blockchain can play a crucial role in supply chain management healthcare system many aspects of healthcare system you can apply blockchain securing patient record and improving interoperability as well as i would add up the it can be blockchain can be implemented in of uh, organ donate apps where the list would be maintained transparently so that no tempering can be happen in real time the people who is on the top or the most priority or at the very top will get the organ without any tempering you can apply blockchain there see how the applications are coming into my mind similarly try to give the real life examples of everything that you are talking about identity verification digital ids and reducing identity thefts these are so very common so i hope you have got this application now we'll see challenges and the future outlook scalability there is a challenge of scalability issues with the transaction speed at the network throughput because there is a header which contains much data much data inside it so there is a issue in the scalability but still it is on the growing phase many developers are putting their efforts to increase the scalability issue now regulatory concerns navigating regulatory framework globally like in, if it is openly to everyone the open source as the blockchain is an open source then it can be as a concern of regularity now environmental impact energy intensive mining process because for a mining process you need a high computational machine which take a much amount of electricity if you are using electricity to generate electricity it would be an energy intensive 
energy intensive mining processes so i hope you did you have got why i am telling you environmental impact everything is independentable in every aspect that you are using it now future trends blockchain beyond finance potential in voting systems intellectual properties and more integration with ai and iot enhancing the data security and automation if any technologies has a temper proof database then the data security would definitely increase and the automation can be happen very easily now we'll see the conclusion the app and impact blockchain offers unprecedented security and transparency and efficiency across industry great calls action stay informed about blockchain and evolution and explore its application further so these are the the conclusion in very short that i have written plus try to focus the flow that i have followed in the same way you need to tell in the interview definition concept decentralization security how does blockchain work application then challenges that blockchain follows and conclusion this will definitely take 2 to 3 minutes and all information are very crystal clear with a crisp example which can hook the interviewer for 3 minutes and he will be also very interested to listen your whole explanation now the most asked question has been also put in of the technical one as well as the coding interview question that are asked from last 5 years and currently asked in all the interviews are all these question are there inside this video moving forward with the resources that you can follow the project project explanation many of the people are suffering how you to explain your project the aspects has been talking talked here spoke about everything the example that you need to know about ml project or full stack project or ml uh, or uh, how to explain your internship or any professional experience all the examples are here now sql mostly watched video on my channel every type of pattern are covered in this dbms mostly asks it tcs and qt as well as every company you can expect the dbs question from this pretty particular period if you are not believing my words please watch the interview experience of digital that i have put in as well as a prime the question were asked in this particular uh, video now the string video as well as i have uploaded the two are array one shot video that is enough for you to ace the interview now this is the thank you from my side but i will let you know one thing if you are looking for one to one session because you will prepare for everything now how it will be so i am providing a two free sessions to two lucky guys you just need to comment on this video uh, follow our linkedin prime coding page and join the telegram group where i will upload my winners winner rims who will get two free sessions if you want to get free sessions right now i will show you just now now you can have a look on my website primecoding.in i have created with my me and my team has working throughout a day to create this fantastic website you can just take a look over the uh, ranges that we have a full hr manager or if you want to just practice the hr manager or we have that technical plus resume review in just 149 rupees and technical hr and resume combo combo is in mostly bought the plan in our channel so i would definitely recommend you to please meet with us and we'll crack the interview together so this is from my side please share with your friends so that your friend would be also benefited and we'll meet you with a new trending video soon